Hi buddy, welcome back to Terra Firma Crafts, uh, Season 5, Episode 107. Yes, sorry, get it with me, <laughs> with me Sid. And uh, let me just try and change that view round there. And um, So yeah, um, last episode we started out heading, looking for um, stuff and things. I'm just going to top up my food and uh, there's always a slight delay when you start before everything. There we go. Yeah, that's got it. Um, so we went out to go and find some iron and uh, in good traditional me fashion um, I went out armed with that um, and we're going to need a pro pick for this there's no doubt about it so we've come back to base um, while I was between episodes I have also processed up all of the uh, gravel and everything there uh, there's a little bit of stuff left in here and there's a whole lot of stuff in here <laughs> so that's like oh, that's um, so I'll think this through. Uh, can we sort you? Yes. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's twenty. Uh, that's twenty ingots of silver. That's twenty ingots. Uh, well, that's sixteen of ingots of mithril. Um, quite a bit of pitch blend, not one. Galana, gold, and of course a whole load of gems. Plus a little bit more in here. Anyway, we're not doing anything with that. I just thought I'd show you the results you get from one full barrel of um, gravel. That's the word I'm looking for. So we need we need to make a a new prospector's pick. Now I don't think if I go in there, can you make a pro pick? In tungsten, you make thormium, but you can't make it in tungsten. So tungsten's off the off the uh, agenda. Um, now it could go with bronze again, but bronze has got a fairly diabolical uh, durability. We could go with steel, but I'm going to go with black steel. I've got a little bit of black steel left, so uh, and also given that I don't know why I've got all that in there, but there you go. Given that what I actually want is iron, using iron to come here, to make a pro pick when I've already got black steel heated up there, um, kind of seems kind of pointless. So yeah, I'm going to put you in there for now. What we've got going on there? Nothing. Um, so quick, quick um, forging session. Then we are going to head back out and we are going to head all the way um, back up here because there's trace after trace after trace of iron. There's some surface iron 25 quality there. Um, yeah, it's just iron again. Uh, iron. There's just lots of iron so that's where we obviously need to concentrate our efforts um, and we really need to come back with we need to not just do one of these we probably need to do two or three of these to get the level of iron we need so yeah it's going to be an explorey miney gathery episode and uh, I'll be back once I've made this pro pick and there you go one New prospect has picked 36.5% smithing bonus, which gives it a. a uh, doesn't tell you the durability, unfortunately, that's a shame. Um, but there you go, we have a shiny new prospect has picked. Now, what time is it? Uh, it is coming on to the end of the day, so what we shall do is we shall put our prospect has picked away in there. We've got uh, made some new food because our food situation was pretty dire. Um, in fact, yeah, 
bad on fruit, grain and dairy because I haven't been eating fruit, grain or dairy. Um, so who knew, eh? But we made some of that, so we'll take two or three of those with us, uh, probably a two. And, oh uh, yeah, we'll set off in the morning. I will see you um, over in the area where we've got rich iron deposits. Back in a moment. All right, we're here. I actually took the long way around. I swung around here, but I didn't find anything overly exciting. Um, yeah, let's get the pro pick of oldness out. Now, first things first, this is Lemonite and FTB ores, or the old Google, FTB, TFC, TFC ores. <laughs> uh, too many acronyms. Um, so, if I'm looking at Lemonite, Lemonite does spawn at the top in rock salt, and this is rock salt. So, we should be able to find. I need. I need to find where where our traces start. Nothing. Traces of Lemonite there. Right. I mean, it could be deep, even though nothing of interest. Traces. Traces. True. Hmm. There's a reason why I look for surface veins. <laughs> Come on. Certainly kind of that area. Um, let's have a look over this way. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, is there... Did I just... Oh, we are okay. Just as well I did actually decide to go back and do that rather than go with the uh, thing right didn't I traces 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 where if I were oh, we got traces of Lemonite I think we are going to try uh, chop a tree down mm, actually no we don't need to chop a tree down right now let me just go with 27 we'll chop a tree down later i'm gonna go i think roughly see this is still i think about well, maybe this kind of area is as good a place as any um and let's see what we can find Hopefully, as we go down, we'll find um, small samples. So it's definitely down, but I think we kind of knew that. Large sample traces of amber. No, we don't give a damn about amber. Um, hello, Rich. Oh, yes. Okay, right. We've got, um, we need to, well, first things first, we need to make our way out. Uh, I probably need to grab some sticks, wood, and uh, we also almost certainly need to have a snooze. Can I munch this before it's too late? It's getting quite dark quickly. Uh, that should be enough to get me through the night. Right, so I'm going to chop down a few trees. We'll get some pit props. Uh, we are going to go and have a good look at just how good. I 
that that vein is. We also need to grab a few other bits and pieces. First things first. Bye bye. Bye bye. And bye bye. I'm not faffing around with stupid piddly bits of thing. Uh, we need timber. Hmm. I like the look of that tree over I mean I could chop down these little trees, but why bother when there's a nice big shiny great wood over here and, uh, and of course the other thing we can do before we start attacking the great wood is get our scythe out and make sure we've got enough sticks to make torches. We don't need a vast amount, but you know, every little helps. Uh, I really can get in trouble with Tesco for saying that. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's have the tree down. Bang, and there you go. Get rid of that. Now you see I put Trunky down, but if I put Trunky down, he's going to go, what is that? Anthracite. Stay there and take that back and that back. Anything else we can give him? Mm. can have the boat, can't he? Yes, he can. There we go. Right. Now we should be able to pick up most of that timber. We don't want you. I'm not going to worry if I don't get it all. It's, you know, the limits to how much I, uh, I'm going to worry about that. Uh, you know what? Tell you what, let's be a good citizen. And, you know, because I might want it. See, I mean, that tree gave its life to give us wood, so I suppose we should. Right, now the other thing we need is um, water, which we've got plenty of water here now. I need to put you down. And we need to go, I actually only need to do one of those, don't I? That will give me that, which in turn will give me a nice barrel of fresh water. And we'll pick that up. Right, um, what else did I want to do? Hmm. Grab them. Don't want to leave them waste around, uh, wasting around. Uh, anything else we needed? Need to find me hole. Where's me hole gone? There's me hole. Right, so yeah, there's a bit of an issue there with that. So let's just pop a scaffolding block there. Uh, and there, there you go. Sorted. And then what we need to do is grab that. Well, we can't grab that, but uh, how do I want to play this? I need to take a chance here. I'll do the trick. And then we can take you, get rid of that. And we can take our chisel. Hopefully it's uh, got enough life in it. I've just realized that's also a bit on the uh, poor side. Cinnabar. Well, I don't know where the actual vein of 
of this is going to go, but um, what we'll do is we shall... How do I... Oh, good grief. I have kind of overwhelmed with the glut of things that I have. Um, if I put you down... Yeah, you know, of course you're going to do that, aren't you? But it's alright, he picked up the right thing. Uh, but of course now we can't pick anything else up. Good God. <laughs> Damn you. Stop. Stop it. Uh, oh, okay. Ah. Damn. <laughs> this is not working. Uh, all right, let me just sort my inventory situation out and I shall be back in a second. Well, I just had my first cave in. I thought I'd protected myself, but of course I brought the roof down a level, um, which meant we ended up with some unfortunate side effects. Trunk is fine though, uh, mainly because he can't take damage, obviously. It's, 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 it's a bit, it's a bit, you know, smug about that to be fair. Um, so what we need to do is actually, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna make sure that this is filled properly uh, because basically that will only support the blocks above it. So the blocks above that can cave in, and, uh, and obviously that is what happened. Now we've got some limonite this way, a bit of limonite over here. I do want. To Grab that. Um, uh, <laughs> thanks. That was exactly what we needed. Um, let me get that away. But yeah, so we're starting to get a space. I just want to get a little space to work and establish myself in. And once we have that then I will be a happy bunny. Um, so clearly now I can go like that. And obviously I can grab my chisel and work away. I hope this chisel is going to last out. It's got 1032 durability. I probably should have made a fresh one while I was there in Black Steel. I don't suppose. No, I didn't bring a spare one. <sighs> Damn it. Oh well. Um, you know what? Now I know there's a mine here with a 35 quality uh, limonite ore in it, which obviously is there. Um, I am not going to grumble. Really not going to grumble. <laughs> I just need to get enough space to work. Um, once I've done that, I'll be back in a sec. All right, well, this one seems to be heading this way. Um, so I'm using my usual technique. It's not necessarily the best technique. It's just what I use, which is to, to get a good solid ceiling of blocks above me. Take As I take them out, replace them with non-collapsible blocks and, and basically work in the direction of the veins of ore. So that whenever you break that block, that's the one where it's... Um, a little bit hairy uh, so I'm always a bit cautious about that but I'm also not chiseling every single block because uh, my chisel obviously only has a, a limited amount of life in it and uh, let's see any sign of where you're going no 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 uh, this vein is going to be a pain. I can, I've got a, I can feel it in my bones. Hope they're still going over that way. So we'll pop a little bit in there, and I will take a little bit of this rock salt back with me if, um, if I've got space. Oh, we'll definitely get. Oh, yeah, we're starting to see a direction appear, appearing here. Um, and I've actually got my first stack, which is 16 of 35. So that's pretty good going. Um, now, what I have also got right now is a hunger issue. Um, 
and I've just all I've done is I set myself up down here with I've got a uh, barrel of water I've got my cooking bench I've got some chests just to fill out and my mission here is to pretty much try and uh, get as much iron as we can obviously that's that's the the mission every time isn't it oh and we've also got a a barrel ready here to go back into trunky so right now my first thing is let's mine a whole load of limonite shall we i'll be back in a bit all right oh i'm sure there's more down here i haven't found um however we have made quite a big hole in the terrain i mean i could i do that that would work but you really are clutching at straws here now because you know it's like is there is there a block behind that no okay or behind that one no now the other thing is we've actually hit the barrier between layers so we started up there there's probably more up there but there's probably more off behind that and this and, and you know if i were to go hunting around in here i would almost certainly find some more um that you know is is a given however as i said there there comes a point where you have to sit there and go well realistically how much do i actually need so i'm going to take those with me because out of the stuff we've got in here there are a few bits and pieces which are nice like the quartz there's uh, that so we can put those in uh, rubies and emeralds we've got so many gems from our sifting operation that we don't really need to worry about it so we can pop that in there we can get trunky down and trunky fetch and come back here for now and then what we'll do is we'll pop around here and we shall stick ourselves a little floor in there that will allow me to get up to the um, surface I don't think there's anything desperate I want here now um, I mean all of this is just stuff I can make on the fly so i did also resort to uh the hammer I, f I always forget i've got that because of course it's not a standard tfc item you know you don't typically have hammers in your repertoire grain and fruit grain and fruit that one will do me and yeah so yeah i didn't worry too much about the yeah, we've got a stink of shame, haven't we? About getting everything. I think it's if if you try and min max it and just get everything, you you're going to just waste a whole lot of time and durability getting food that you're just not going to be able to not getting, or that it's kind of cost. I suppose it's a cost benefit analysis if you if you like, um, you know. How much how much does this cost me in in time um, compared to how much I get out of it? And realistically, the cost isn't worth it. Not not for hunting down individual blobs of thing, even when it's you know supremely high quality stuff. So we'll put Trunky down again and. Uh, you need to take that uh, and you've got that that's good um, right let's get the hell out of here I assume it's daytime my map is a daytime map so we'll uh, we'll find out one way or the other it's not daytime okay and uh, well, it's simple enough to fix that particular problem. Wink. So that's one mine, um, and that is a goodly amount of iron, actually. Um, what was it? Uh, four and a bit. 
Four a bit um, things, hoofers, what's my jigs, huge my flobs, four the <laughs> clay vessels, there, that's the word I was looking for. And four and a bit is, is you know, that's not, a, not an insignificant sum, so I'm happy with that. However, there is some uh, some surface, surface iron in this area, if I recall. Uh, let's have a look at the daytime. Uh, from here, so we need to get rid of that one. There's some 15 surface over there. Whatever that was. There, I think. Um, and there up here, you yeah, know. Actually, miles away, than it? Up there is a 25 iron. But we've got, we've got the 15, which I'm not... I don't know, with the sur it being surface, it might be worthwhile going for. Even though it's only 15. Decisions, decisions. Uh, and then, of course, you've got an iron question there. And that's pretty much it here. Then we're moving up there. So, let's go. You know what? Let's... Um, take that on my back. I don't think I need to... Um, Take those, that's enough for, what, two double chests, just to store the crap in. And uh, we shall... Seven, um, what I should really, really done, and I didn't, is uh, I need to get rid of those for starters. Otherwise I'll get excited the next time I come this way and go, oh look, iron. Um, <sighs> That's, it's not an even a, it's forty percent of an ingot. I'm not going to faff around. Uh, okay, and get. Thank you. Uh, uh, I like those. They're reasonably expensive. So over this way was where I said I'd found some surface iron, I believe, but it was only fifteen quality. Uh, is it? It's this one, isn't it? Poor magnetite. Yeah. See, I can't believe there's not more irons over this way, iron deposits, because there's massive great expanses of, of, of terrain here that just have got nothing in them now. You know, I'm very tempted to just chill. I think we might have actually come to the end of the world. No, we haven't. Okay. Uh, drinky drink. Thank you. So there's a 15, but I'm, I'm really, the effort that I'm going to waste mining a 15 quality ore. Yeah, there's nobody there. Okay. It's probably somewhat disproportionate compared to, say, the effort that I would have exploring some unexplored land, which is rock salt, um, which, of course, is a good source of iron. So, I think I'm going to have a little wander around here. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I'll have a wander around and see if I can't find any better traces of iron before I resort to mining poor quality iron. Um, I'll be back in a second. I found one iron deposit over. I'm just still looking around, but look, there's some essence berries down there. I don't need them. Um, but worthwhile looking into the ravines if you're out this way. Sometimes you'll see some ore deposits which you could have, uh, you might not have otherwise noticed. And of course, you might see essence berry bushes, and uh, and that'll be the key to you getting ludicrously high amounts of hit points. Um, we are, however, well, we're in Sequoia country for starters. Look at these fellas. Um, you can't get the saplings, so sucks to uh, sucks to be us, really. Um, but we need to have a quick sleep, and before I continue on, so I will do that. And again, I will see you in a bit. All right, I didn't find any more autumns with us, by the way. <laughs> the maple trees look gorgeous, and uh, well. The, uh, the great oaks, not so, not so gorgeous, but there you go. 
However, um, we need this. So this is the spot. Oh, a large sample of selenite. That really is not what I wanted. Come on. Get me away from the selenite. Find me the limonite. I mean, again, we know it's in the top layer because it's... Um, it's limonite and we're in rock salt country which means that uh well actually we don't know it's in the top layer it's most likely in the top layer but there's really really nothing here there's no trace it's not giving I me mean, it's giving me a hmm. not entirely sure what to do with this We've got 61 ladders, so we could attempt to narrow it down because we know there's a trace there, there's a spot there, there's a spot here, so kind of in this area. So we could go and see if we can't find it. I mean, worst case scenario, we're going to find the selenite. Um, which, you know, is actually, oh, just to, let me double check, I'm fairly certain selenite is, selenite is glowstone, isn't it? It is. So, you know, there are worse things to find. Um... What I would really like to find though is the Lemonite. If we don't find anything, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, the worst. We there are sorts of things as false. False oh hello. Oh no, that's fine. Thought that was uh I think still constantly finding this cinnabar from Thorncraft, which is the wrong cinnabar before we get excited about cinnabar. Um, but there's nothing to stop us poking a few holes down and seeing what we get out. See, we've gone past the selenite. Traces of limonite. So I think we've also gone past the limonite. So... The obvious thing to do at this point is to get out. There's, there is, there is a very big voice in me saying, "Just go for the uh, poor quality." Oops. Hello. Okay. Oh, hello. I have to do this. Um, one of their bugbears of Minecraft ladders. Anyway, let me uh, get out and decide. Oh, jeez. Stop it. Oh, uh, I think I know what the problem is. Yeah, you can't place ladders on that. Yeah, that is the problem then. So. One option and try to this is also the option is try not to kill myself because the last time I did something where I started swapping walls I till I died um, okay I'm gonna be onwards and I will be back with you in a little while all right found another trace um, also a very big hill so I'm gonna have a little hunt around here um, I think this this looks to be a reasonable middle point uh, this is when it where it gets up to being a a medium sample um, we are oh, a large sample we get in there a very large sample we're getting close come on still a very large sample we might sail past this No, it's still on a very large sample. 
Hmm. As I say, I may have to head back up a little bit. A large sample. Yeah, we need to head up and then branch out in a direction, I think. Um, for which we're going to need timber again. But it doesn't matter because, you know, it's not like we're in a desert somewhere. Let's have a look. What's this like? Got a very large sample of lemonite. So let me just get one of those in. Um, I'm definitely going to need to head up and out and get some materials. But again, I'm going to go and grab. Well, first things first, I need to find the damn stuff. Um, and to do that, we're going to need some supplies. We always need supplies, 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 supplies. And, and of course, what we also need to do is make sure um, that the, the hole in the ground here is not a death trap for us. <laughs> because oh I've still I actually going on we're not too bad we can actually work with what we got then so yeah I'm gonna go and try and find this lemonite um, I'm gonna try that way I think uh, we'll, well maybe we'll try poking north first and then we'll take the compass directions from there so yeah I'll uh, I shall be back in a moment found it <laughs> I went that way didn't turn out that way went that way well it wasn't north it wasn't south but the sample wasn't getting any worse that way so I tried going east and it, it's not high quality but you know what it ain't rubbish either so looks like we have another lemonite mine um, I'm going to continue and do the same. I'm going to prepare, get myself some stuff together and, you know, uh, basically get myself into a state of, a good state of being where we can uh, stash stuff that we don't, I don't really need that. Those are probably not necessary now. I uh, would like to keep all of those and obviously I'll just do that one stick away for now because it's just a waste of space. Um, so let me check how long I've been, let me get on with this and also I will check how long I've been recording and I should be back in a moment. Oh, I've been going about 37 minutes. Uh, I've just found rich entropy shards on the other side of that hill as well. So they might uh, get harvested before we head back. How? Ever, uh, I am going to come down to our little mine here. Um, we're going to make sure it's lit for starters. And uh, I'm going to basically continue on with what we did in the last one. And hopefully that will give me a barrel full of luminite. If, if not, you know. That's only standard, but yeah, it is better than a kick in the face, and uh, many things are, are in fact better than a kick in the face. But you know, um, this in particular is also much better than a kick in the face. I am going to stick another scaffolding there, so I don't really don't think we need to go worry about going down. Well, we may have to go down, but you know what I mean. Um, my chisel has got a reasonable durability on it so i'm going to basically grab this and uh, i will see you next time but until next time thank you very much for watching guys i will see you soon bye for now